So it's been quite some time since my last video. This one right here. This one right here. So a shitload of things have changed since then. For one, I've been living in Oregon for about six months. So that's probably the biggest thing. Um, secondly, I rigged up my A7R 3 for video. I had it looking nice and nice and delectable. And then about three months later, somebody broke into my car and took it. So yeah, anyway, that officially made me a full-fledged film photographer. So now I'm gonna be one of those YouTube film photographers that talk down to you for shooting digital. So just be prepared for that. With that said, the footage in this video was from before I left Cali and before my camera got stolen. This is from about September 6th, I wanna say, 2020. So almost damn near a full year ago. So this was another quick little impromptu trip I took to Highway 395. If you watched my last video from Alabama Hills, Alabama Hills is off of 395. So that's basically it. And um, without further ado, let's cut a rug. So yeah, I peeled myself out of bed at 2.20 a.m., hit the road listening to some foreign exchange, leave it all behind. Phenomenal album. And then I listened to Nas King's Disease album, which I just dropped. And then I listened to Joe Budden podcast talk about the album, The Good Days Before Rory and Moe Left. Then I listened to this Big Sean album on the way up to Bishop. I wasn't feeling it. Saw a whole bunch of chickens. Um, oh yeah, I had to mention too, this was, these were the days when it was like, there were fires everywhere around the area from the Sierra, so everything was all hazy and smoggy. So, here's some footage from when it's normal. That's what it's supposed to look like, as opposed to the last shots that are just still crazy, right? I had some, I shot a little bit of film on this trip. I think it was mostly Kodak Gold. This was over at Convict Lake. I did the full loop. I think it's like a three mile loop or something like that. So yeah. Once again, everything was too hazy and too smoggy to really see, but it was still all right, I guess. For me, like, the sound of running water and streams and whatnot when you're kind of like by yourself in nature is like one of the best things ever in life. I live for that. All right, so I started recording this back there a little bit, but I got embarrassed because there were people there and I didn't know and I'm still not comfortable like vlogging or whatever in front of people or vlogging in general. But anyway, I am here at Convict Lake doing this three mile hike, which isn't really that bad. Like it's three miles, but I'm also at like seven, eight thousand feet elevation. So it is a little taxing. I can't breathe for shit right now. But fuck it, if I die, I die. If he dies, he dies. Um, so I think I have like two more miles left or maybe like a mile and a half. Right now I'm in this like weird clearing picnic area. Um, and yeah, unfortunately I can't really see anything. I'm trying to take pictures about everything so smoky because of the fires and everything going on. But I mean, I'll see what I get. I've been taking some shots here and there, but at the same time, I'm not quite sure. I'm also watching out for rattlesnakes because I'm scared to death. I'm a shook one. And bears and shit, I don't do all that. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. But yeah, if you see this vlog, that means I'm still alive. And if not, yeah, I died. I have no fucking clue where I'm going. All right, toodles. Basically, um, I didn't do the full loop because it was 
a bit further north towards Mono Lake on the southbound side of the highway there are these these like broken down houses or whatever um, i always thought they made a dope little composition like with the mountains in the background so i typically take pictures of them every time i pass them i don't know why i just it's always different so whatever so yeah after that i went back south to do the june lake loop and this is a place that i've been before i think a couple times prior to this um, once again, because of the haze and the smog and everything, you can't really see anything, but I'm also gonna put some footage and some pictures of when it wasn't like looking like this, so you'll see the difference. But anyway, some more chickens. A lot of chickens. This is me, little black boy, walking off into the bushes alone and take a shit. Yeah, this is more chickens. Lake once again under a thick cloud of fog. It looks disgusting, but it also looks kind of nice. What are you gonna do? And then after that, I headed to Lake Sabrina. I saw this like cool little mountain thing on the side of the road. It looked better, like I ended up walking over there, but I couldn't really get a good picture without the uh, power lines in it, so I just didn't take any picture. Anyway, continue to Lake Sabrina. Um, once again, trash sunset because everything was blinking and not this small, but it was peaceful, and what more can you ask for? It was a short trip, nothing, nothing too crazy. I don't really like any of the pictures I took, like none of them are gonna make it to my portfolio or anything, but it was cool. So here are some more photos from that trip that I couldn't include within the main part of the video. that on that if you like the video please hit that like button and subscribe too because i promise like for real this time this is gonna be a weekly series i'm actually gonna do weekly videos because i need to get on my grind so um yeah i'll be back and i hate closing out videos i never know what to say so all right bye